Hey everybody, I have a book that I have been excited to get for a long, long time. The Colin Thompson's book. I do not know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and I'm sure it transfers into something for English. I don't know what it is. I apologize. But this book is amazing. Um, it's bigger than a normal coloring book. It is 8 by 11. That's, it doesn't even fit on my table. It's so big. But... Um, so to pan out a little bit, it's grayscale, which I love, and the dust cover here has a little story about Colin Thompson, and let me see, the paper is nice, heavyweight paper, uh, it will bleed through though, it's not double sided, I'm sorry, it is double sided and it's not perforated. He does a lot of these bookshelf type pages where there's all kinds of little hidden things in it, little creatures and little items and really little mushroom here. It's just really, really neat. And my advice to you after playing this book for a while is one square at a time. Just one thing. Everybody's like, how did you do that? Uh, I first colored in the frame one night. It took me the whole night. I colored in everything that looked like wood. The next night, I took a corner and I just colored in. And then I took that same color and I went here. I colored in everything I thought would be green. And then I took the next color and I did the same thing. One color at a time. That was my process. It took me a couple of weeks, but it was nice. Um, I like all the doors. Isn't that cool? All the different random staircases and things. I mean, you will find uh, different things even while coloring it over and over again. You'll you'll look at it again and go, oh, "Wow, what is that?" That you hadn't noticed before. Really? Oh, this is the one I colored in. I had so much fun coloring this page. It took a while, like I said, but it was, it was, it's just so worth it. I just started off with like everything that was brown, just colored and colored and layered and layered. And <clears throat> next, I would start with like say green, and I would color in all the green, <clears throat> everything I thought that looked green, and then I would go back to the next color and I would choose that. And then at the very end, I don't know if you can see it in the camera here. I use my gel pens and I would go over some areas that look like they could use some gel pens, different little, and it just came out really, really cuter than I even thought. Um, if you go to Pinterest and Instagram, you'll find so many different examples of these books. They're very, very fun. Another bookshelf. This is some weird gully looking, I don't know, tree houses. Little, to me this looks like London. I'm not even sure what it is. I like the sunflower pages. And this one's like out in the woods. All kinds of little things going on here. This little kid. This is neat too. another one of those city scenes with all the little just just so many tiny little details I mean like right here this is a dresser in the middle of this big city thing with a little teeny tiny row of houses in there it's so cool random kangaroo jumping off into the water here I love, love, love this book. I think it is one of my favorites. The waterfall. I love when they go down more than one, you know, shelf. This was the first page I did in here. I wanted something a little easier that I could just try it out. It was I think it was the first grayscale picture I ever did. This one is a tree trunk. Can you imagine coloring all that in? How fun is that going to be?
This is very industrial looking here with the film going through it. Very cool. Castle here, books here. Another shelf. I like the doll body here with the doll head. Very cool. Another row of houses with the trees growing up in it. I've seen this one a lot on Instagram and um, Pinterest and different things like that. He has a lot of puzzles also. When I was researching him before I bought the book, he has a lot of puzzles and different items. It would be so hard to do. This one is a different perspective. It's like the same shadow box type thing but it's like you're looking down into it it's very neat I like it I really really like this book this is going to be another really fun one this one's going to take a long long time um, this is got a random Christmas tree in here. Monster face cars. There's a skull in here. It's Humpty Dumpty. Look up back of a naked woman. <laughs> Just a little random everything. And then we get this kid in this living room. And under the floorboards, all these little little rooms with little creatures in it. A whole bunch of instruments that make up little houses and things. Another shadow box, or shelves, whatever you want to call them. There's like a puppy dog in here in his bed. And this is the last. I see, I see this one a lot too, with the, the green chair a lot. See, it shows some of his puzzles and different things that he sells. It is really, really, really cute. I wish I knew what this was called. It's got to be fantastic something. I don't know what this word means, but it is really good. It took a while for me to get it, but it was worth the wait. Trust me. Um, if you like this style book, whatever, I'll leave a link. I believe it on Amazon. I'll leave a link down at the bottom if you would like to um, check it out. <clears throat> Please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down at the bottom. I appreciate it. Thank you.